Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a quick look at one of the Jane Davenport watercolor sets. This is the most recent addition to her travel palette range. This new tin is a teal color and features a selection of colors under the Glitzy name. According to the info on Jane Davenport's webpage, she chose the 12 colors in the set with the theme of mermaids in mind. I love how the box has the color swatches on both long edges and also the little face swatches at the back. The paints are made in Korea, the tin itself is from China. Each pan is nicely wrapped, first in plastic, then with a wraparound paper to identify the pan. The plastic pans themselves are not labeled, so it might be a good idea to manually label them when you unwrap them, to avoid mixing up the colors. The paint cakes have a slightly textured surface. Most of the pan paints I've used in the past had a very smooth surface, so this is uncommon. It seems to happen to all of the pans, so it's probably normal for this set. It's just not something other paint pans from other brands have. Apparently, the rough texture can be a result of tiny bubbles forming at the top of the pan when it dries. That's the only info I found related to the texture of the pans. The pans were easy to unwrap and to set in the tin. I proceeded to swatch the colors. Rough texture aside, the paint is easy to reactivate and lays down smoothly. It made for nice, even swatches. The mermaid theme is very apparent in the color range, as it features five greens, two blues, a red, an orange, and a yellow. There are also two metallic colors, one a kind of coppery red and the other a yellow peach color. The colors mixed well together with a lot of potential for super bright, vibrant green colors. The shimmer in the metallic colors is very faint. Perhaps this is a thing on the first layer of paint in the cake, as the micas could have settled a bit deeper in the liquid paint as it dried. The Lorelei and Ariel colors, one of the greens and the red, neutralize each other into a super nice dark grey. On Jane Davenport's website, you can find pigment information for these paints, including light fastness readings. Overall, these 12 paints use 13 pigments, and only two colors are single pigment paints. The light fastness of these paints are either 2 or 3 stars, where 3 stars is the best light fastness rating applicable. I'd suggest doing your own color light fastness test if that's a super important characteristic for you, since I find their rating system a bit strange. They rate the paint using the same pigment as Prussian blue, with their best light fastness rating, while this pigment is known to fade quickly under sunlight. I know that binder can affect the light fastness of a pigment, but I'd still want to check it for myself if I was to use these paints for something else than sketchbook work. I sketched a small forest scene to try the paints, and while I've slightly messed up the values in this painting, we can still see how the paints dry and how they layer over one another. The darker colors lost a lot of their intensity in drying so it feels like there's a substantial color shift in the darker colors and mixes. The layering 
wasn't great on this piece either, as I ended up with quite a few blooms, though that could easily be user error. Overall, my first impression of this set is that I feel it's great for sketchbook work, as the colors are intense and we wet well. The light fastness situation doesn't make me want to use these for more, quote, serious, unquote, artwork, especially since professional paints are already part of my toolset. These paints are also pricey. The standard retail price, taken from Jane Davenport's website, is over 30 US dollars for a set. Luckily, a lot of people seem to have been able to use coupons to buy these, and I think that's really the way to go. I love the colored tins, those make me super happy and I'm looking forward to reusing them in the future. It's refreshing to see someone adding color to the tin themselves, it also makes finding a specific set much easier. I like the color selection, though possibly not the most convenient. The greens are really lovely. Do you have this set? How do you like to use these paints? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.